Hey there, welcome to this channel after a long time. So if you, uh, you know, go back to this, even this channel or uh, some blogs I had written, I guess, and uh, a lot of my notes, I have been, a lot of times I have tried to, you know, uh, start with machine learning and study it. And uh, just when I'm 10, 20 percent there, a lot of times I'm just, uh, I have left it there and uh, due to whatever like I'm the problem right I wanted to uh, restart because I don't see any doing anything anywhere else is that impactful than this space AI and hardware yeah so the point is that I'm restarting this channel to basically learn and document what I'm doing sort of I wanted to start with uh, learning these uh, tools like Langchain and Langgraph uh, these frameworks which uh, can be used to make agents uh, and stuff and what better way to you know uh, learn something than building something a project right so I've I have a new idea and I've started working on it and just wanted to share ki where I am and all these things, right? So the idea is basically uh, simple that um, it's, uh, let's say you have a PDF, right? And uh, you sort of drop into this uh, uh, software or whatever it is, and then you just tell it to natu in natural language to do anything with the PDF and it will do it. A very simple version would be ki you drop in a PDF and you say, ki, hey, just uh, split this PDF into two parts from this page. And uh, that is a simple thing, right? You can say, uh, okay, merge these two PDFs and you drop in two PDFs and it should merge and give you the PDF. And more, uh, you know, complicated part uh, in, in uh, including workflows would be ki, um, you say, ki, okay, uh, here's the PDF and uh, in natural language, right? Uh, here's the PDF. Uh, just give me a compressed file of uh, last three pages and then in the last three pages also uh, you know put this image you know or stamp this image or um, you know put this image right so that would be a uh, you know multi-step thing right so uh, the idea is to build this and um, in the way learn some tools and uh, yeah hopefully build a, something useful right um, so yeah I'm starting with this and I'll now show you basically the progress and what I've managed to do till now. Okay, so for this project, of course, I decided to use a Python backend because most AI things are uh, Python native, right? So it makes things a bit uh, easier. Okay, I'll show you what I'm trying to do now, right? Uh, so what I'm trying to do is that, you know, uh, you must know this I love PDF, right? Any PDF thing we search on Google, this is the first thing that pops up. We open it and do things, right? What I'm trying to first do is that um, make a POC uh, of the uh, thing that I'm also able to do all these functions or operations on PDF on my own. And how I'm doing that is that I have found a um, package called PyMu PDF. Um, there are um, two, three more, but I found it to have the most features so i decided to use it and uh, you can think of it as a like a package which is um, which sort of gives you functions or apis to modify a pdf or do certain things with it right um uh, so you can see like um there's a class in it called page and and you can do all all of these sort of things it exposes all of these things for you to do and also one more thing is that i did not know pdfs are so structured there's code within it which stocks which your pdf viewer so if i show you i was just uh, reading something about it so if i open my gemini uh so so this is a sort of a sample of how uh, a pdf sort of looks right um inside inside it right this says okay, okay it's a pdf file um the version of it uh, then there are these objects right um one object second object uh, version of it and uh, within it there is this start thing and thing and uh, within it you say what uh, things are you can say there is an image there and all sorts of things uh, then there's a table called xref table uh, this basically is saying key after nine bytes or offset of some bytes uh, there is this thing that exists something like this. The point is that uh, PDFs look like this underneath the uh, surface uh, which is I did not know and pretty nice right done so till now I have uh, been able to actually split and merge PDFs what I'm struggling now is with compressing PDF because that's uh, there is no API for that like direct API key dot compress till now I just have figured out key okay if I just lower the size of images uh, then 
it reduces a bit but i'm not at the state of where the other tools are um if i show you a working thing so i'll show my postman will hit a request and i'll show you um so um okay so this is a body right here i'm sending a form multi part form data and, and it is not like a final api it's just i'm doing a poc and i just want to hit it and know what's happening that's why i just i've just exposed the api for this so um we'll see i will hit it right so this uh, file actually is of 150 kb this pdf and if i hit it i, I get the pdf back in 99.5 kb what i'm doing is that i'm extracting this uh, image basically and uh, after i extract it i am lowering the size of it by using a package called below it's actually below it's imported as pil one cool thing is that um one that i did not know there is this xref right that i have told so every element i think every element in pdf has a unique sort of id to it and um, yeah so you can uh, extract things through by an xref and replace things by an xref um right like i'm extracting here yeah so this is it if i show you um this one uh, split now so i'll just uh, do split uh this pdf as you see it will be it is uh, this is a first page second and uh, this is the third and this is the fourth uh, right so i should ideally get this this text and just uh, this text in the response pdf basically okay so let's try this uh, yeah so we will see this is just sec one page and second page yeah the server is running here and also i'm uh, i did not know again um because i'm you know using these ai tools um again poetry is something i'm using for dependency management i did not know even uh, you know python because last time i developed anything in python i used to just keep a requirements.txt right uh, like in the old days and you install those requirements any package in requirements i did not know something called poetry has also come up which is uh, exactly if you use it you will th it is exactly like yarn or npm in javascript ecosystem right um so yeah poetry is something i'm using for uh, dependency management and also uh, exactly like yarn and npm that, that like they help us run things it also helps us like run like this mostly that is the um what i am up to till now well thanks for watching this video and if you have any thoughts or anything that could help or anything that you want to share uh, you can just drop in the comments that would be really nice and yeah keep building